the third set last night has inspired him to bring it tonight. You he, show, you, yeah, uh, he hit the ball hard last night, but not always in bounds. Valenzi, perfect pass, and there's what they want to see out of their big middle, Easy Onu, one of the most efficient hitters in the nation. Yeah, Easy Onu has to perform also, but they got to give him the ball. And the freshman setter is learning where to set him. And thus far, other than the ace, Penn State looking pretty good on reception. Yeah, I think they look much, much better and much more uh, comfortable in this situation. There's a jump serve by Valenzi. Outside to Champlin, up and over, but dug by Valenzi. Backside to Kerr, on the back row, off the net and out of bounds. Nobody touched it. That's a point UCLA. Maybe a little too much Kerr last night, I thought. And not enough Easy Onu. And Easy Onu, who two years ago led the nation in hitting percentage, was second last year. And he's tops again this year. Although last night probably brought him down in the stats a little bit. And there's a kill by Michal Koval on the outside for the Lions. UCLA now in row one, Ido David hitting left side. UCLA going to four receivers here on Easy Ono. A nice pass by Kirchie, goes to the middle, Merrick McHenry, McHenry and uh, John Kerr, Merrick Tim Burr couldn't get to the pancake. Point to UCLA, seven serve five. Ethan Champlin back to serve for UCLA. Here's Ethan Champlin, Champlin, 18 kills last night. He was the most active player for UCLA. Led in kills. Here he is with the jump serve, and uh, the green light is on for UCLA. That had some heat, and there's Rose trickling it by. And that ball should have been buried. It almost was in the net, but Rose will get a second kill. Yeah. Contact point was really low and got the top of the net. I thought the net might throw it right back to him. So far, the net gods have spoken to the Lions. <laughs> There's Shobe, the setter, with a jump serve. There's a tip by Knight, pancaked by Koval, but nobody there to scoop up the hot cake. Yeah, I, I've spotlight Ko Koval for a Penn State because that's the one player that has to play well for them to have a chance to win tonight, I believe. He was a little quiet last night. Here's McHenry. He's got that deadly Boy. jump float with a lot of heat. Here's Kerr out of system. Nice. Puts it cross court. McHenry can't pick it up. Last night, coach, McHenry had that serve going in game one and was effective. And in game two, they stopped. Yeah. And not only did they stop, but all Bruins stopped with the heat and started missing serves. Yeah, was, you wonder if that was natural or if that was something that the coaching staff contributed to. David from the right side. And, he looks inspired because last night, truthfully, if we speak candidly, we, we call it like we see it, he looked flat. Well, and, and he hit the ball flat. You know, he was hitting through the ball instead of snapping through the ball. So the ball had very little top spin. 9-7 UCLA, two-point advantage here in the first. Ito goes with heat, and that ball's in. And that's what the Bruins do to you. Relentless pressure on serving, and I guarantee you, John Sparaz, green lighting tonight. Oh yeah. I think I think he wants the focus and the intensity and not to see it drop at any point in this match. It's an awful feeling when those services services are coming to you at that speed by all players. It's not easy for a team to get rhythm as you mentioned yesterday. Owen Rose back to serve eight looking at ten. Nonetheless, two point spread. Here's Owen Rose, he has a jump serve. Now three, three person received. A good jump serve, rather. There it is, off speed in the net. Somehow I don't feel like he gets his full body into the ball, you know, it's, a, it's like a, an arm ball, but not the hips and the power that from the hips coming into the ball. It's feel, it feels like there's a little power left on the shelf. Yep, I agree with that. I do too. Well, UCLA 11-8, here's Alex Knight, nice. Speed, well controlled. Backside, looped in. They go upstairs. 
And there he is, Sean McQuiggan at Amiracosta High School, putting down a kill. He's in for Guy Guinness, who started yesterday for the Bruins. Nice you know, uh, my wife was his teacher, I think, in the fifth grade. Is that right? Yes. That's uh, Manhattan Beach. Uh, yes, Martyrs, I believe, uh, elementary school. Well, one kill for the Martyrs. Yes, you go. There's another heater from Knight. Outside, Champlin off the block and out of bounds, and yesterday's kill leader gets another one. But, and service pressure, the big thing. Yeah, and it's just it's just separated already. Tonight, either. And that's, that's the problem with getting a great athlete in the middle, uh, and you count on him to do a good job, and you can't get him the ball. You know, it's very frustrating both for the team and the athlete. Very demoralizing. 13-8 UCLA with Alex Knight at the serving stripe. Takes something off that one. Tells you something about what they spoke about. There's a dig by the libero. Here's Ito. He's got a tip. Kerr takes it. He'll go backside to Kerr. Two up. Soft block. Knight controls. Quick set. That's incredible. Sean McQuiggan fed. What an incredible set that was by Rowan to push that. He was literally contorted and pushed that, what, 20, 15 feet? Well, he was, he was 14 feet off the net. Exactly. So that had to be about 20 feet, like you said. He had one of those last night, but that was really pretty. And another kill for the Martyrs. And here we go. Uh, High pass, and there's Ezeonu, but he's controlled by McQuiggan. And oh, we got an injury We here. got uh, Rowan running into McQuiggan, or vice versa, and... Uh, Looks like Rowan, the setter, got hit in, the, hit in the nose. We might have a bloody nose. Let's talk about Rowan for a second. He came in after Miles Partain, already a fantastic setter for UCLA, left to go play Beach. Rowan comes in at a Trabuca Canyon as a freshman, and it was like they did not lose a step with this kid's talent. Oh, no, they didn't. In fact, they got better. That's what happened, McQuiggan. How would you like that, a 6'10 elbow in your face? Boy, that's tough to take. I mean, watch this. Forgive me, 6'11". Oh, look at that. He yeah. just got hammered. Yeah, that's that's not good. Let's hope that he's OK. Oh, it looks like he is OK. Well, let's hope so. I think they're trying to get the bleeding to stop. Anyway, Rowan comes in, has an All-American year, his freshman year. Uh, you can't say enough. I mean, no. he, Miles Part. Tough guy. Let me tell no. you, he took a shot. If I didn't know better, yeah, okay, that's him. I, I didn't think that was a different player. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Kerr back to float serve after the injury timeout. Rowan goes to Ito. Oh, oh. almost picked up. Excuse me, McQuiggan on the backside, and McQuiggan. Uh, almost a in good addition foot today. Save, uh, he's got his third kill. He's batting a thousand. Yeah. Back to serve. That first UCLA. set was a little low. Went to Miracosta High School, a volleyball powerhouse, South Bay of LA. And that's a nice look and play by Michael Schub. Rather, Michael Schub, excuse me, emphasis on the wrong syllable there. Michael Schub, a freshman, and that's one thing that uh, head coach Mark Pavlik has to deal with this year. He's got to deal with a freshman setter learning yep. how to play. And, and Penn State, not that many seniors on the team either, on the starting lineup. All right, here we go. There's Champlin swinging hard, and it hits Rowan, who is standing out of bounds and running back into the court. So uh, Rowan is going to owe Champlin something for that, a kill. Well, he's, he's an easy target. He gets elbows. He gets balls hitting him. He's, he is on fire right now. Don't stand next to him in a hailstorm. <laughs> Nice pass by Kirchy, the freshman libero, and there's McHenry. Ba boom! Merrick McHenry destroying that ball. Easy Oni must easy have come down underneath. on somebody's foot. Uh, he went down pretty fast. Don't want to see that for anybody. Easy Oni, prior to yesterday's match, was hitting 641 on the year. Two years ago, led the nation with a 528 clip. Last year, second, 490. They got to get him the ball, but here comes that service pressure. Rowan also a jump server. Finally, Valenzi, good pass. Outside, 
double block UCLA. Re Koval on the outside, and there's a net by UCLA that someone didn't call. And well, there's a cover by Ezioni. That's a big net. It might have been the ball between the net and the hand. And here comes Knight, and Merck can't get there. Knight Alex tipping Knight it from the pick, back row. No, I, uh, unless my old eyes deceive me, I think Ito was caught up like a tuna in that net. Well, anyway. we're well, not going to find challenging out because it. nobody's no. going to challenge. Well, maybe know. my eyes deceive me. It, it, <laughs> it is possible. All right, 17-11, Rowan with some more heat, Boy. handled by Merck. Backside to Kerr, and there's a tip, trickles on the other side of the net for a kill. So the last few passes Penn State has actually been able to handle, but then UCLA, big block up there, and Penn State's hitters have to respond on the good pass. Yeah, I just, I just feel like UCLA is putting so much pressure on Penn State right now. One thing. I, I always tell I'm coaching, not collegiate level, but the club level, no team is going to stay hot from the service line the whole match. So you sustain the storm. The problem is UCLA has proven has so many good servers that they can potentially sustain it. There's Chaplin I mean, with a bomb. I mean, these are serves. I and have to tell you, the velocity is greater than I've seen. Even as good as the international servers are, UCLA is serving at an international level right now as far as velocity. And champ, rather, Penn State cannot get in a rhythm. Even with a good pass, they have not been able to get their hitters in a rhythm. So UCLA serving pressure, the story here in set one. Well, that happened last. That's the difference, but uh, Penn State's not out of this yet. Hanging around, down by five. UCLA hitting 562, Penn State hitting 333, so not horrible. But again, how many aces we got, Mick? Well, I was just trying to figure that out. Looks like uh, service ace. It had only two aces, but they've been off the net about half yeah, the receptions. Yeah, I, I think Penn State has not let them. There's Champlin out. So that was an interesting strategy. So. Chaplin saw that they moved their pattern right, and he tried to go down the line one to five to catch them. Catch them on that uh, didn't quite work, but he saw it. Catch the night guard sleeping. Yeah. yeah. All right, here's Shobe, freshman setter, left-handed into the net. Penn State not helping themselves with serves that, quite frankly, don't have much heat, and they're into the net. Shobe had trouble last night with the serving, too. He had three straight times. He had serves that were either out or in the net. Here's Merrick McHenry as a float serve. It's absolutely mean, and it's controlled, but they're off the net again. Here's Kova on the back against a huge block, and you almost saw that block happen before he yeah. took a swing. McQuiggan was over the net. Great hand position. Koval wants to be on the left side. He's on the right side with that monster broom block on a pass off the net. Yeah. And we have Coons coming in for Valenzi in the front row for Penn State. So Will Coons into the game. Yeah. There's a serve handled by Kirchie. Nice pass real quick to McQuiggan. And you can't say enough about Andrew Rowan just pushing that ball where it needs to be. Well, I think another thing is that uh, McQuiggan is such a big target that Rowan just feels like anywhere in the area he can get that ball and McQuiggan can, can find the handle. McQuiggan, the redshirt sophomore. And here's Ido David. And he goes with heat. I mean, this is just a heat fest. Now that ball should have been set. And Rowan will go to the middle, blocked. Bruins will have another chance. Champlin outside to Knight, and Knight, nobody up. And I don't know what happened, but there were no blockers. Head on curve for whatever reason. Fell into the net. So Penn State now looking a little bit in disarray. It's a lot of pressure to handle. Is there a single Bruin that hasn't been 65 plus? You know, there's something that's interesting. UCLA has taken Penn State out of their rhythm, but UCLA 
faces a situation if Penn State doesn't play, UCLA doesn't get to play. So it's a serve and pass, so UCLA could end up losing their rhythm also in this match. It's such a great point, so what you're saying is you're relying on that serve to stay where it's at, yeah. or else you have another dimension that could actually change the and outcome of this. that may in fact be what happened last night. Uh, it's exactly what happened last night, but I felt like it was a self-inflicted error because yes. they went to the yes. soft serve. And there's Champlin from the Bick, unable to clear the net, so there's a point for Penn State. Yeah, that's and the first set that wasn't a good set. And Owen Rose, not consistent, but when he gets in his jump serve, he's one of the more yeah, powerful I'd, jump servers on the Penn State team. And if he can get his hips into this, then he gets the additional velocity. There he did. That, that, that time he did. Better, Absolutely. Yeah. Off the net. And here's a high ball for Knight. He takes a swing and he's stopped by Easy Ono, Valenzi, and Kerr. Nice. He's, yeah, block. Easy Ono had his ankle taped in between that stuff that was going on there. You remember when he fell up here? They were working on him over there. He's come back in. Looks like he's really ready to go. So here's Rose for his third serve. And that one is Dutch boy. See, that, that's what I'm saying. That one he got his hand on the ball, but nothing else was going in the same direction. We call that the paintbrush. 23-17, <laughs> set one. Alex Knight back to serve. Well, I'll tell you what, that hurts your fingers also. When you're trying to serve and you miss the center of the ball, that's a pretty painful experience. Alex Knight, the red shirt senior, coming with some heat. Here's Valenzi up against a three-man block, and I think he saw that block and said, I got to do a yeah. cut shot. I would like the players that are smaller like that to not try to miss the block, but go for the hands on the block. I mean, use that block. Absolutely. Forget about the 900 square feet and destroy a hand. What about the 19 feet of block? <laughs> yeah. All right, here's Alex Knight again. That one's out, but uh, this one is fait accompli unless Penn State can get something going from the service line. UCLA with 12 kills, Penn State 11. This is quite a loaded bench over here for UCLA. I mean. And there's one off the tape, easily handled by Knight. Backside to Ito, and he hits it in the tape. And to your point, Mick, UCLA's hitting fine, but they can't fall asleep at the wheel. That's we, right. We, we've seen That's this. Right. And there are not many rallies to get free balls and, and those kinds of things Do you just get rhythm off of. So it can come and go pretty pretty fast unless you keep control of it. And jump serving is not easy to keep up for a whole match. It is right. just difficult. And there's Champlin roofed by Easy Odu. That's the thing that's broken down and given the state some extra points. So we know what Kerr's gonna do because he just goes in with a kind of float jump. And, and uh, the question is, what does UCLA do right here? They've got McQuiggan on the right side, Champlin outside, and Alex Knight. Well, I think they might go or, behind Excuse me, here. Rowan in the front row. So it's 5-1. Now Champlin's going to get a high ball. No, he goes back to Ito, yeah. who has to roll it in. I don't know about that choice. Here we go. Outside, here's Valenzi against a big block. He took a swing like you asked him to. It's your fault, Mick. <laughs> He's still hit low and inside. Right. I don't want him to go up and right. hit going up. I want to set the ball up and create more distance and a wider Well, wider I would have liked court. to see a better coverage effort there by the Penn State being down low, yeah. covering that ball. There you go. UCLA takes set one. We're in Austin, Texas for men's collegiate volleyball. We'll be right back with set two. Set, Penn State, 250. Five errors for each team. So they'll start in row two. Rowan with the ball, pushes it to McQuiggan. Dug by Kerr, outside, Shobe. Here's Valenzi, rolls it into the middle of the court. Paint kick by Kerchi, it's up. Here's Ito, he's got to do something, and he hits it out. But they might call it touch. No, out of bounds. He had to rush to that ball, Mick. Yeah, and Ito did this last night, too. Uh, anything that's not in a perfect situation, he had trouble keeping the ball in play. That's a ball he should have kept in play rather than try to try to score it. Rush to it low and hit it out. Yep. Here's Koval out of Poland. Here's Ito, and he wanted to make sure. No, that ball's out, called out. So 
back-to-back era errors rather from Ido David. And Penn State's up 2-0 here. Big 6-7 opposite junior. Koval going to the jump serve. He's chasing that one. And that might have helped. Kirchi controls it. Backside Ito and off the block and out of bounds as Ito David pulls Valenzi. Well, they were about and determined they were going to take care of that mismatch because Ito's huge. The left side blocker is probably 6'2, 6'1. Yes, 6'2. Michael Valenzi, 6'2 senior out of Boca Raton, Florida. <coughs> Excuse me. And that ball's in, and that ball's got to be defended. Fast. I, uh, I, I'm bothered by that when when you're not balanced and you don't hold your position and you can't make a move to the ball. That means you're guessing, and, and that bothers me because you can't guess. It's like that on defense. You you have to just lean into the angle, and it's all about angles with, with velocity like this. David rolls it in. That's picked up by Valenzi, barely. And there's Kerr, who had a big night last night, and they would love to see him heat up. That's a big swing right there for Kerr. That's a big block up there. He's got Knight and McQuiggan on him. So Kerr picking up his third kill. He's only got one error on six attempts. Penn State with a one-point lead here in set two. And that ball just looked ugly from the beginning. Well, it's an interesting toss, you know. That's the, that's the first thing you notice. It's almost like a side side two-handed toss and then he goes, but he puts a little spin on it besides. So here's Knight. Ripped his jump serves in the first set. And he tries again. And here you go. That 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 is, you know, it's just one error, but you're starting to see it wasn't as relentless as it was in the first snowball. set. Snowball starts rolling yeah. down the hill. We just got a little snowball now. We don't have an avalanche yet. You and I have watched a lot of volleyball this weekend, <laughs> getting the feel for this. All right, here's Kerr. Goes the jump float, taken by Knight. They go to Knight in the back row. So pass and kill for Knight. Ties it up at four. I think it's interesting to watch each different coach and how they select players, especially when they have two or three players with all the same abilities. Well, backside again to Kerr against a big block, and that ball's out. That was a triple block as Kerr came from the right side back row trying to put that down. Kerr seems better when he doesn't have to fly to the ball when he goes up, uses his height. Show up tight, and there's Ezeonu, and he's been pretty quiet. They need to get him involved. Remember last night we talked about that two ball when it goes straight up, and it's like a one and a half or a two ball. He can go up and choose which way he's going to hit it. That's what you want. Well, so that, that works good for him, for sure. There's Valenzi. Bruins go backside to Ito. He's got a tip picked up by Merck. Smarter Other side play. to the Bruins. Yeah, They'll go to play. the middle, and there's Merrick McHenry, the Dallas, Texas native, putting it down in front of his home state fans. I'll tell you what, McHenry has gotten better. I mean, he was good last year in the Final Four in the National Championship, but he has really improved his physicality, especially. There's Rowan getting an overpass. The Bruins will have a free pass. And here's Knight, who picked up by Kerr. Valencia will free ball it. Tough by McHenry. Here's Champlin, who just puts it over. He's the one who takes it. And Schwob goes for the kill, <laughs> but no. <laughs> Dug by Rowan. Outside Knight. Here's Champlin. And Champlin sails it long. And Penn State dodges a bullet there. You know, we haven't called Champlin's name or number hardly at all here. He was a big, big factor last night. Well, you look at where the distribution is. There's no doubt they're trying to get Ito David back into the yeah. swing of things. He's got nine attempts. And then you got Champlin with six. You have Knight with seven, McQuiggan with six. So it's a distribution, yeah. even distribution. So Champlin really has another electric arm also. He, he gets a huge pop into this ball. First set, he was going, he goes the roll shot. Taken by Rose. Outside, no, backside to Valenzi. They go to the pick. 
and Merrick McHenry Merrick. had different Stop. ideas. Boy. Merrick was over on that one. Merrick playing his senior year of club here in Austin, traveled three hours to play with the Austin Juniors Volleyball Club along with Nathan Litsky, the setter for Stanford. Another roll shot, another pass by Rose outside, and there's Koval who's stuffed by Merrick McHenry. Ito in the assist. So you wonder if the change of speeds now on the serve is driven by the players or driven by a suggestion from the coaching staff? It's a, it's a great question. Uh, yesterday, I think, it was driven by the coaching staff. And uh, that time he went full heater. But full heater, both the last two Certain times, has been in the net. State, so, and you can adjust to rolls. You can move up your line and but what's happened is when they kick the ball in, that block has been absolutely tenacious for UCLA. Absolutely. It is a big Bruin block. There's a cross-court jump serve taken by the Bruins. Champlin's going to the tip, covered by Schraub. Merck, bump set outside Koval and long and outside. So they're getting swings that matter. Unfortunately, they're not capitalizing. Well, that's a hard swing with that block there. He would have to really jump higher or take something off of that to get that ball to come down and in. So Merrick McHenry has an absolutely lethal float serve. Penn State in row one with Rose in the middle. Outside Kerr, the big opposite, tries to cut it. And he gets a little volleyball net god love. <laughs> Well, I was looking at Kerr, and he was looking straight down as if he was going to pounce that ball right in front of him. And that just got in the way. So UCLA now in their starting rotation. There's outside the Knight, who just absolutely blasted that ball. That's and the best swing I've, we've seen out of Knight. And the, the connection was beautiful with Rowan. And uh, John Sparrow really likes Alex Knight, and I can see why. In well, that, that OHU two position. Yeah, that's the first indication, though, that I've seen Knight really show what he can do. First evidence you've gathered. Evidence, yes. Yeah. There's a bomber by David, but handled outside to Kerr. They're going Kerr heavy. He's dug. Rowan goes backside to David, who scuds it out. Right side attack goes long. Point David is uh, going to get in trouble here with his coach because this is the same M O as last night. That was a good set. You got to find the court on these. Keep it in if you don't have the swing. So yep. David now hitting zero. He's got three kills, but three errors, nine yep. attempts. Yeah, that batting average is uh, a you know, problem. Owen Rose out on the jump serve. Here's Alex Knight. So UCLA has eased up on the serve, but it's been just as effective. Well, because the block has been so good. There's another softer. Serve and there's Easy on it. Yeah, that's another one and a half, and that, that's a good set. The cross his body is real comfortable for him. So Easy Onu, they want him heating up, the efficient middle blocker. Good pass equals an Easy Oni kill. Taken by Knight. There's a dump. Ezioni controls it. Shobe outside. Kerr to the backside. He's yeah. blocked. Covered by Merck. Here comes Valenzi against the big block. Tipped. There's trouble on Brune's side, and that's going to be four contacts. No, they'll keep going. Here we go. Valenzi this time. Tip. Nice dig by Champlin. Here's a joust at the net, and how smart is Andrew Rowan on that kill? Boy, that's that's volleyball IQ now. I like that. That's that's really it. But you got to play a lot of volleyball to learn to do that. He wasn't even facing where he tipped and, no. and to, to, to tool it. It wasn't just a behind the back tip, it was a behind the back tool. Here's yeah, Easy Onu, takes his pass, and there he puts it down. Easy we had a problem there. One hitter was going for one play, and uh, Easy Onu just reached out and took that ball. It almost looks like he had hit the ground before he hit it. Yeah. After the first, the initial jump. All right, UCLA up by two, leads one set to nothing. I think the setter was trying to set a rip, actually, and somehow there was confusion. Perfect pass by Knight, backside David. Now that's what Spra likes. He can, he can take that. 
David has been very effective on the side out. He hasn't been as effective when they're out of system. It seems to me that when he can get rhythm, three steps, four steps, he is fine. But if he has to really work his feet, he has trouble. And uh, there's Rowan into the net. So Penn State has life here because they know the Bruins aren't going to be able to bring the heat they did in game one. So service 14-11, excuse me, 14-12 UCLA up by two. Yeah, I think UCLA with five serving errors here. Here's Carter Dittman, the freshman out of Fairport, New York, serving for Penn State off the net. Champlin, nice pass. They go middle to McHenry, and I don't know how you stop that, Mick. Boy, he has bounced two balls here in this second set. State with more serving errors so far in this match than UCLA. Very unusual. Here's Ethan Champlin. Great arm here. And that'll count as an ace as it caromed off the net, and Valenzi couldn't handle the carom. You know, if you could hit the top of the net on purpose, you certainly would. Oh, he did. That was on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because people are diving to get their platform in front of the ball, and it takes a little hop and just hops right over you. You're, you're cooked. Again, this time doesn't oh. carry him quite as fast. Bump set by Kerr. Koval just oh my. gives Watch it out. in. You got to take a swing there, and they McHenry. go to McHenry, and yeah. that's Otto Matti. That was coming. Would have you liked to see a swing out of Koval there? Yeah, that would have been in fun too. A little step close. Yeah. We've got a team timeout taken by Penn State. And Penn State, after a timeout, two more points, calls another. UCLA goes up by five here in the second set. Yeah, UCLA just separates, you know, sometimes as early as eight or nine. And this time, it's after 12. They pull away by five. UCLA hitting 235 this set, and uh, the pressure getting to Penn State, they're hitting sub 100. And we have people panicking here for the uh, little souvenir balls that uh, kids are throwing out here to the people in the stands. Yeah, it got a little like we were being swarmed. Uh, taking a look at John Spira in the huddle with his team in his 12th year. John Spira winning the title with the Bruins last year. Looking to repeat the U.S. men's national team coach going to Paris this year. And uh, as we talked about in the uh, earlier broadcast, US USA Volleyball has a chance to win gold, Mick. Uh, I think uh, Spra thinks they have a great chance. Uh, he's a little worried about Poland, but uh, a couple of the other teams. I had a chance to, uh, to watch in the back of the huddle there, Robbins uh, staying way back in the back of the uh, UCLA huddle. I thought he was good last night. I thought he was real good. Yeah, Cooper, uh, Cooper Robinson last night uh, played in the OH2, and where, where Alex Knight is playing tonight, had a great match. Oh. And there's a kill on the overpass by Knight. And Robinson, you and I both were impressed with him. Thought there was no issue. Not that he got pulled tonight. Spra has his reasons. But played very well, well the uh, red shirt uh, sophomore. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Spra's got 12 guys like that. You know, he can play interchange, probably everything but the setter position and maybe the libero position. Those two are really top level. Spraz challenging. He thinks that's an ace. He never lets up, does he? No, he is absolutely after it. Robinson, as we were talking about, out of Loyola High School, uh, like Miracosta. Uh, when you talk uh, volleyball in, uh, in, in the Los Angeles area, it's a lot of good teams. But Loyola High School, coached by uh, Mike Bowley, he's been there forever. Won Many national uh, CIF championships in Miracosta, where McQuiggan's from. Sure. You have all these kids from these great schools. Really fun to watch. And I tell you, when Miracosta plays Loyola or Miracosta plays Redondo, you have to fight to get in the gyms to watch the matches. And it's just not the parents and the, the students from those schools. It's everybody in the South Bay. They have to play uh, at uh, Loyola Marymount. Yeah. Many yeah. times. Now Miracosta has that nice new gym. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
So, and you know, Redondo remodeled their facilities, so. Just, if you haven't been out there to see the volleyball culture, it's something else, really, like no other place in the country. Okay, outside, Koval finally with some heat, and you want to see them, to your point, you need, you need the pins to get hot. You know, uh, if I were blocking number eight, I would seal line all the time and make him have to go cross court because he really gets you to think he's going cross court and his best shot is down the line, thumb up. And he's pretty good at it. There's Shobe off the net, controlled by Kirchi, the freshman libero. And there's Knight off the block, but nice stab by Shobe. Here's a swing for Koval. I would have taken a crack. Yeah. Here we go. Ito keeping it in. Listen to Mick. Outside. And there it is. A nice Seven kill. By Will blocked him too high. Probably way too high on him. Should have been down and penetrating. So Will Coons comes in and puts the ball away in the opposite position. Or excuse me, in the outside. Penn State's closed this down to three points now again. Rowan on the run outside, Knight trying to roll it down the line, and that's just such a nice shot. It's a finesse shot, but it's got speed. And he's looking cross court when he hits it, so it's almost like you shank the ball on purpose, you know? Your defender has to be so keen to that possibility to dig that ball. You have to look for the shots that the hitters like. We used to have our, our players, our back court players, watch the hitters in warm up because everybody hits their most favorite shot in warm up. And Will Coons, after an absolute rifle serve from McHenry, handled by Merck, and then outside to Coons, who now has two kills here in the last three points, Penn State could use some life on the outside. Yeah, this would be added offense for them if they could get him to start scoring. And uh, Koval into the net, but uh, they got a few out of that one. It's a four-point UCLA lead here at set two. But the has been bringing the heat also. Let's see what he does this time. See, a, a short serve to, to four right here might be pretty interesting. That ball's out. David, one of two Israelis on the U.S. Uh, excuse me, on the UCLA team. Middle blocker Guy Guinness, the other, out of Tel Aviv. He, he started last night. McQuiggan in for him tonight. Just Rose, Owen Rose, nice serve. They're off the net, 30 feet. Nice bump set. Here's Knight up at the net, rolls it, covered by Shob. Bump set, Koval to Valenzi, who's just <laughs> not blocked this time. by three. He was inside the court a good seven, eight feet, and there was a three-man block. So your angle's gone. What do you do? You go high off of the inside hand of the third blocker to the shortest part of the court because all you have to do is get 20 feet de deflection is over the stands, you know. So Alex Knight, he's got seven kills, only one error, hitting 500 on 12 attempts. Already no service aces, but he goes for one there. And and then we're 35 feet off the net. Tough set, that's going over to UCLA who pushes it down. That looked like a hole to me. That's Grant Sloan. The redshirt junior out of Irvine, California. Yeah, I think if you're middle back on that, you have to go right in there and challenge the guy if he. Oh, and Valenzi have yet to uh, be in, as effective as they need to be against this Bruin block. And the two ball in the middle is still a first choice here if they could get a pass for Penn State. So a little timeout on the floor. I'm not sure what is. The delay. Let me guess. Spiraz challenge. Out of, out of rotation, I believe, is what we oh. got here. Yes, we are good to go. Alex Knight back in the service line for UCLA. All right, so Knight will go to the line. Uh, side out, 22-17 here in set two. Bruins up one nothing. This is the final match of a six matches. We just had great volleyball for two days here. UCLA off the net, Koval controls, and then they go to Ezione, who's got a tip, covered yeah. by Champlin, back to Knight in the back row, and that's trickles off the net and in, and Alex Knight. 
Gets the his only, eighth kill. The only thing that uh, I see with Knight is it doesn't seem like his vertical is nearly the same as the other outside hitters. Robinson? Yeah. yeah Robinson. And Zach Rama? Yeah. They get up in the air. Uh, watch this serve. He's got a dynamite serve, but not a lot of top spin. It's more of a hybrid float, maybe sometimes spin. It's been pretty effective because it's taken Penn State out of any kind of system offense. Nothing like those serves. That's why McHenry's serve, the way it comes at you with oh. very little rotation, but at a high speed, is, is and, and, and it comes high. Yeah, he hits it from a higher high point. spot down, so the angle is much different. Uh, the placement served by Coons uh, out of bounds. You know, I was watching the Lions judge. She got her flag up almost before that ball hit the floor. If we were watching NFL football kickers, the way that ball moves around on the kickers, you want to keep that flag down until you see which right. way that ball breaks. <laughs> David Decker into the game for the Bruins, the opposite, 6'9", redshirt freshman with a serve. Oh, he brings the heat. Brings the heat. And there's a backside to Coons, and that ball is in. That's a hell of a hit. Boy, that's, that's putting it in the corner. That's perfect. Really nice. That was out of system, hitting that from about 15 feet off the net, putting it in the one spot. It's probably looking like he's trying to get people into the lineup there. Lindsay with the serve, controlled by Knight. We go backside, and there's the. Two ball attack goes in well, Schwab looks that's good two, going up for that ball, but he hasn't had much success in scoring. All right, so Grant Sloan there, finishing it off for the Bruins. The Bruins take game two. It's 25-19. Bruins up 2-0. We'll be right. Look to me like they're just kind of ready to see what happens. It's interesting, Kerr is out of the game for Coons. Kerr was hitting 273, only had two errors, so there must be another reason as uh, Zach Rama hits sir, Long, that ball out on the serve. Well, Merrick has been so good, but this first serve did miss. Zach Rama out of Phoenix, Arizona, into the game for the Bruins, the 6'8 outside hitter. There's a, Rowan has to take it. Rama with his hands, and then outside to Knight, who tip recycles, and then Ito's got to keep it in. That, Controlled by Show. Yeah. Outside, here's Coons on the opposite against the monster block, and sometimes you just got to squeak it under the troll. That was a nice play by Coons. I mean, he's lower than the hands are, and he has the forearms to deal with, and you can't really react very well with your forearms. So Rama. In for Champlin, takes the pass, perfect pass. They go backside to Ito, and the 6-2 Valenzi did a nice job of a soft block, but too much power, out of bounds. And Spra stayed with Ito for all three sets now tonight, so far anyway, and I think he's, he's really kind of challenging him to step up and be dominant here. David back to serve. Going with Heat, Merck controlling it. And they go to Valenzi, who finally, because of the pass, the scheme worked, and it was popcorn machine. Bad guess by Rowan. <laughs> Is that what it was? Yeah, he went in to help with the first oh, tempo. Yeah, yeah, I just saw it on video. You are absolutely correct. Yeah. <laughs> so Valenzi would like to see more of that. Yeah. Uh, he's been challenged against a big block all night, but picks up the kill. Lindsay with his first kill of the night. Here we are in set three. Well, he bounced that one. He's had 10 opportunities, so. UCLA, now in rotation four. And that ball's out of bounds by Rose. I actually had a chance to talk to Mark Pavlik, and he talked about Rose's uh, jump serve, said it's, it's fantastic when it's in. As we said, it's can kill anybody, can kill the opposing team or <laughs> somebody, in, somebody the in the stands. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what, quite what he said, but yes, uh, he you got the idea. You don't want to hear what he said. <laughs> All right, there's Knight, a roller off the net. Koval keeps it, Valenzi again, he'll tip it in the middle as Zach Rama oh, comes Valenzi off the left and can't control it. So here we go, Penn State now. I do think I would 
maybe change the tactic more to more jams and pushes and, uh, and anything quick to try to beat the big UCLA block to get them on the floor. Explain to the folks at home what a jam is. Well, a jam would be when you just drive your hand through the ball and try to get it on the floor as quick as possible. It used to be that would be called a throw, but uh, in this day and age, they let you do that. They don't let you change directions with it, but they let you jam through the ball really fast. So get it fast. there quick and attack it quick with yeah. the hand speed. Exactly. And there's no way you can read it unless you just get in front of the attacker and get down low. Zach Rama gets the kill, McQuiggan with the serve, and there's a dig by McQuiggan. You love when your middles make a dig. Here's a swing for Rama, who tries to go off speed. It's a recycle. Here's Ito, very kept it in, coach. Here's Shub outside, Eziano blocked but recovered, and that is just Monster! stuffed by Zach Rama as Shub tried to go over on one. I tell you, I don't fault Ito on these back sets. Uh, he's talking to Rowan right now, but he's saying they're too low. Yeah, that's what that's what I saw. But he kept it in that time that and didn't was try smart. to scut. Yeah, very smart. So, Zach Rama coming in at OH2 and making a big impression. He's got a kill and a stuff block McQu on the setter attempt. Yeah. McQuicken went for the short serve to four and just missed it, but Penn State had no answer for it if he'd gotten it in. Rama off the net, pushed by Rowan. There's a kill. Rama way upstairs and high. Zach Rama gets his second kill. So we've seen four left sides here for UCLA that are pretty dynamic. And here's Rowan wearing 26, went out earlier with a bloody nose, had to change his number seven jersey, and there's Eziono, but that ball's out. Eziono with an error. One of the problems is they pass so far over here that Eziono doesn't have much room across his body. Eziono has only had eight swings, he has five kills, and now if this one stands as they challenge it, he'll have his first error of the night. But as we talked about, you really want to see that All-American get more swings in the middle. I kind of feel like Pavlik's using this as a, uh, a timeout. He's in the third set. Why not? He's got challenges. It makes perfect sense. As the time goes on, it's so hard to maintain intensity in volleyball for five sets. Without the rally. Without, without the rally. It's, yeah. it's so true. And we're not seeing a lot of rallies back and forth. And that's one of the reasons why I thought Penn State would be smart to do kind of what they're doing is throw the ball, keep it under the hands of the blockers, get UCLA on the floor, make them scramble, and see what happens. We see Glenn Litsky uh, staring off into space here over at the scorer's table. What a job he's done this weekend and putting on this tournament. And uh, we should have mentioned it a while ago, Hideyari uh, Nakamura, the libero for UCLA, replaced Kirti earlier in the uh, match. He's in at libero. He's got the right color shoes. There's Rowan keeping it in. Show backside to Coons. Coons is lit it up. They put him in for Kerr, and he is effective from the backside, back row. Yeah, it's a quicker set, and he gets to it fast. And UCLA trying to dominate or double the middle and then get out, and uh, that's a little fast. He's got five kills, seven attempts, just one error. Here's Easy Onu, and he goes just long. Easy Onu seems to be limping a little from that sprain. Well, he's got that he's got that ankle taped, you know, that blocking when he came down on the foot of the middle hitter for UCLA and went down. Rama with a cross court jump serve and then Valenzi has to keep it in from the back row. They'll go to the Bic. There's Rama, Doug, Shobe. They're not going to call it. It's alive. UCLA with a free ball. Here's Rama again. Right again. Yeah. <laughs> went in doubt. Do it twice. Rowan is uh, doing a nice job of keeping his hitters alert. If they don't score, he goes right back to them. It's so true, and you just love a setter that understands the hitter's mentality. Yeah. yeah. There's a controlled pass, and there's Rose, and that ball got away from him. 
So kind of sounded finish. like a touch to me. So the uh, fake challenge, if you want to call it, <laughs> uh, did not uh, yield any fruit as UCLA pulls ahead by three here. Yeah. Rama State's with the serve, the and that ball's out. So off the hook is Penn State. And uh, Show will go back to serve. Schwab, just a freshman setter, doing a great job for Penn State, but a big hole as they lost their senior setter last year. We're uh, using two Libros here for UCLA. So Luca Kirchi back in. Yeah. Freshman out of Newport Harbor. Merrick McHenry back to serve for UCLA up to seven. So here's Merrick McHenry with the float serve that's got heat. It'll be curious to see what he brings right now. All heat and just long. How do you teach that serve? I mean, you'd want everybody to have that. Yeah, you know, I, I had one player that hit that hybrid that everybody tried to copy like that, and that was Samantha Bricio. And everybody came in and filmed her. They all tried to emulate that. And I think only one guy, a Belgian guy, was able to do it. Now McHenry is doing that. And here's a chance as Penn State made a dig. High ball to Valenzi inside the court, and I think that one you got to be a little smarter about for a recycle. Yep. UCLA, you know they're there. It's a high ball. They had five minutes to set the block. I think the cement was dry. You know, hitters sometimes just have to be a little bit more patient you know, and practice those skills. David with the serve and off speed, but it pays off. And Penn State looks like a fighter up against the ring, getting a little tired in uh, round 12. Well, there's not very much uh, action going over there on the sideline. Everybody's just kind of dead, you know? Uh, UCLA will do that to you. They'll beat you up. Uh, exactly. And you have to keep fighting through this. Uh, to, I would encourage the bench to make noise and keep encouraging and uh, stay active. Couldn't agree more. Nice pass by Merck. Tight set. Valencia has to do something with it. Controlled by the Bruins. Ito with the pause. And there's Alex Knight, who looks very confident tonight. Perhaps he took some umbrage in not having uh, gotten the start last night, had to play libero a few nights before. And he's telling his coach, hey, I'm the guy. Well, I think that's the message he's trying to convey. Um, he's been out there the full three sets. And doing quite a good job with eight kills now. Tight set for Schwab. He gets Coons. Coons put down. Ito almost made the dig, but couldn't control it. The big guy was putting the pizza in the oven, but couldn't get a good contact on that platform. That did look like a pizza in the oven. Well, bit. that's. I asked uh, Ben Josephson, who coached uh, the Canadian national team. I said, "How do you get the guys to play defense?" He said, "You just say put the pizza in the oven." Fantastic. If you think about that, that's exactly what they're doing. I'm using that. Knight covers his own block. And there's Ito, David Ito off the block, cross court for a tool. And 14 serving nine here in set three as UCLA looking to sweep after getting reverse swept by Ohio State last night. Did you just look at your watch there? I was trying to figure out how long this match had been going. <laughs> oh, got it. All right, here's Schwab backside to Coons, who came in for Curran. I got to tell you, I like the energy of number 17, Will Coons. Yeah, I would, I would encourage the other players on the court to feed off of that, too. Uh, His mother was a Hall of Fame inductee at Gannon University. Is that a Greensburg, Pennsylvania? And every time I say something nice, they do that. So Bruins up by five, and the is is Penn State has five errors. UCLA zero errors. There's Valenzi handling the pass. They go back to Coons, who's been hot. Nice dig, pizza in the oven, bend over. Oh, look at that. And side. there's a nice transition as Rama gets the swing and the kill. Nice dig by Ido David. Put back up for Rama, who that puts was, it away. That was almost 35 feet, and that ball dropped straight down, so he had to have 
beautiful height. Lindsay with the pass. They go to Koval from the Bick. Back row, Miguel Koval with a kill. You know, if we ever got, when we were playing, if we got to this situation where it was side out, side out, back and forth, and it got dull, we create some energy by talking under the net. That ball's out. I, uh, there seems to be a discrepancy in the score. 17-11, we're, we're behind here on the... Uh, we're always one behind here. Got it. Yeah. I've done six matches, and I'm just noticing that. Yeah. But you never talked under the net, right? <laughs> never. <Okay>. Never. <laughs> oh, we talked a lot under the net, especially at UCLA. Here we go. Deep and out by Coons, and he makes uh, just his second error, who's had an otherwise pretty fantastic match after coming in for Kerr. We've got a timeout taken by Penn State. So we have a real timeout here. Now. That'll be the second timeout for Penn State. It'll be their final timeout, and unless they figure something out, they will be swept, and they'll go 0-2 here at the uh, first point collegiate. And that it's early in the season, and so this is something that that they will try to learn before the, they get to the, the serious part of their schedule, which is their conference and then the tournament. But uh, there's a nicely controlled pass. And there's Kuhn. I tell you what, we're liking what we're seeing out of him. That's one bright spot for the Nittany Lions. Will Kuhn's picking up kill number eight. I'd like to have him in practice. I don't care which side of the net he's on. He makes everybody better. That's what you need. So a serving specialist coming in for Penn State. Into the net, Carter Dittman, the freshman. You know, the serving specialist, what, what's the key thing for a serving specialist coming in? I have an idea what I, I think might be key, but uh, what, what do you think about Well, I think it's situational, for sure. What do you want? I mean, you're down by five in set three. I think you gotta got to go for aces and take your risks. Uh, other times, you know, if you're talking jump serve, one thing, to go off topic a little bit, why don't we see more area serves like a short two when they're least expecting it when they're in a rotation that might throw them off just for a point. You're just looking for real points. So I don't know if I answered your question, but I think it's very situational. Well, I think I think you answered part of the question. I, I would think from a teaching standpoint, though, what I would want the server coming in to work on is making sure the toss is good. The one thing that controls everything. So is technically you're speaking. Technically, just work on your toss so you can do it blindfolded, you know? So a block there by Owen Rose and Coons gives Penn State, and there's a jump serve out of bound. And UCLA just four points away from the sweep. Four. Your call. Your call. There we go outside. There's Coons, and he tries to do a little too much on that one, going line and uh, cross body from the left for a right hander. That's pretty tough to keep in. So now they've got their third timeout. Oh, did I? Did I? These are great or whatnot, but this has been a fantastic tournament. Six teams coming to Texas. Some of these teams playing in Texas for the first time. And 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 number one UCLA, Stanford, Ohio State, Ball State, Penn State. It's been great, and I, I hope they do it again next year. And it's well, think think about it. We did three in a row yesterday and three in a row today, and we're just ex excited for the third one as we were for the first one. It's so true. You know. And, yeah, this uh, is a real treat for the people in Austin, Texas, I've got to tell you. And the way that this uh, this occurred is the Austin Junior Volleyball Club run by Glenn and Kathy Litsky of Austin, Texas. Their son, Nathan Litsky, is the setter at Stanford. And they just wanted a way to expose volleyball to the Lone Star State, which you know as the UT coach, there's not a lot of men's volleyball programs. You play club or not. But you know there's talent because you have Litsky and you have Merrick McHenry. 
drove from Dallas to play in Austin Club Volleyball to get exposure. Well, there's one little little guy running around here, bald-headed guy running around here by the name of Mitchell Castile, and he's running this event. Uh, he was the boys coach at Texas. He came with me to Texas as a, a volunteer assistant from El Paso, and uh, he took over the boys club at UT, and he's the one that really got that boys club going before he got the head coaching job at Baylor for the women's team. The amount of talent in this state, if we could expose boys volleyball more, and this is one way to do it. We have a full house here tonight. And uh, it's coming to a conclusion here because Penn State down 22-14, make that 23 as the uh, air is out of the tires for Penn State. Here's Ido David. Da David has been very smart with his serving here in the last half of this set. He's gone two-thirds speed. He's not going to get a chance to finish it. They've got a serving specialist. Gives somebody else a chance to get in here and take a swing. And that'll be uh, David Flores, the 6'2 uh, redshirt senior from Manhattan, Illinois, coming in to serve. I actually don't know where Manhattan, Illinois is. And it looks like he had uh, a Merrick McHenry type serve he was trying to emulate there with some speed on the float, but didn't clear the net. Had pretty good velocity, though. It did, exactly. Yeah. Oh, he's coming into set. Oh, he's going to set also. So they went into the 6 2. Yeah. 23 15. Here's Rose and that and ball. They're not going to get the a chance. Front. There's the lady in the fence stands that yeah. was in danger. He got his body into that one, but it just kept going up. by Valenzi, backside to Coons, soft block, dug nice, by Nagamura. Nice. And here's Zach Rama to put the finishing touch as UCLA comes back from a reverse sweep to sweep Penn State. Three, nothing, 25-15 in the third. Look at this get, nice, nice get, boy. And good second ball, 